question. I think sometimes what cannot be said in word is best said in cartoon form. And there's a picture there of a, of a person reading a paper, and the title on the paper, <coughs> the top headline is Luther's Paradise. Mm -hmm. And he's proposing to a lady next to him that we should now amend the Constitution and make looting legal. And there we go. <laughs> that is on what we are seeing on the screen. And sometimes what cannot be said in word is best be displayed. And you can see people wa marching away with Kenya Power money, NYS money, NCPB money. And, the, and this gentleman thinks, you know what, let's just legalize it. Maybe we can make some tax money out of this. Gentlemen, a minute, a minute each. Let me get your, 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 your final thoughts on this topic, what you want Kenyans to remember, even as we take a break. And for you watching, we still want your feedback on this. 2242 is our SMS line. Use the hashtag Power Breakfast. Senator? Uh, <coughs> what I want Kenyans to remember is that uh, we all have a responsibility to deal with the aspect of corruption. It cannot be a one-man show. I think time has come when we must also start thinking. Those that develop curriculums in schools, mm -hmm. uh, time has come when we can start thinking on what kind of qualities in terms of values, in terms of uh, 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 virtues like patriotism, uh, faithfulness, right, honesty, that can we can start teaching people, children from school, so that until they get, get to university, they are in the kind, what kind of value system we are creating. I'm saying because, you know, why Christians, and I profess uh, I'm a Catholic, and uh, since I joined the uh, 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 Sunday school and I was growing up, we were taught about the Ten Commandments of God. And as we knew, as we grew up, we knew murder, mm -hmm. converting, stealing, we were all sins lying, against cheating, lying, mm -hmm. shooting against mm -hmm. God. And because for all those years, it becomes very difficult for me to fathom a situation where I would just sit and blindly be lying. They can't. So even in, the, in our own system now, Kenyans must be told, our children and our children grow, we must really be telling them what kind of value system we want to create by educating them. This aspect of looting, this aspect of wanton destruction of uh, public property by way of theft is intolerable. And we also want to say people that have, uh, have a, a responsibility, right, must also wear, because you not miss one egg or band one in many, or just as we say, there is no market that will not have a single madman. I would want mm -hmm. to say that those people that go out of the norms that are acceptable, then be the mad people. But we must have our system on the lenders, and, uh, and legal system must be in a position to address th those, uh, those issues once they arise. Okay. Honorable, let me get yeah, your thoughts let, as well. Let, let Kenyans know that looting is bad. In fact, if we were to amend the constitution, and I said this last week, if you go to Middle East, and that's why Dubai is gone the level it is today, if you see somebody without one hand, you know that is somebody who has been involved in, in, in stealing. And therefore, if you go to China and you're involved in some of these things, you'll be shot. And these are some of the things we are saying. It is the time now Kenyans demand from their leaders that indeed they must take responsibility and uh, anyone involved or suspected to have been involved in corruption must actually be dealt with. In fact, the law we have, and I would say, maybe may not be very strong on dealing with, uh, possibly uh, dealing with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, with the looting and mm -hmm. stealing and this kind of thing. We want to make it. And if we deal with corruption and stealing, I tell you, give this country another five years, you to be at a different level. And therefore, if you ask Mojimua here, I can tell you, Majel Zokufos is not involved in anything. He's, he's, he's just doing his work. If you go to the villages, people now start thinking, you people in the government, you, you are the ones who are stealing, you have a lot of money. And therefore, now what voters are doing, demanding also for, from, from, from Ile them. Mekula, Ile Mekula because I'm a cooler. Yeah. When he has done, he has eaten nothing. It is other people who are doing this. So let us deal with the corruption. We do, and we must walk the talk. I think if it is an amendment of the Constitution to be done, this is one of the areas that needs to be looked into, dealing with corruption and dealing with those people around corruption. And corruption must not be condoned. I'm telling you, it is heavy. Kenyans are talking bad of these things. They are seeing every leader as if they are part of it. You go even to a small pub and you want to take tea, they will say, buy him gonna pesa. You guys have money. And they think that you are, honestly, when you know nothing. When you have the, the, the title honorable before your yeah, name. Before, the, yeah, that becomes, you I tell you, <laughs> you suffer on behalf of some of those people who are looting mm. money. So it's the high time. Action is that. Senator, 30 seconds. Listen. You look like you want to respond. Y yes, 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 please. And uh, what I want to say is this. There are two ways of trying to 
get the people to state offices. There is one for election, there is one for appointed mm. state officers. The standards are different. And for the appointed state officers, because that is where political responsibility must squarely uh, be exercised, I want to advise and say that those people getting to state offices through appointments must have no blemish, mm -hmm. must be as clean as his wife, must be people where you cannot even fathom or imagine that they would do anything that, anything that is wrong. Mm -hmm. And those people that have that responsibility of ensuring integrity is a key uh, ingredient in ensuring those people get to office by virtue of Article 76 to be. So, please, and I repeat, if you are involved in these appointments, mm -hmm. and if somebody has been indicted, there is a controller of office, of uh, independent office by controller on budget. There is office of the auditor general. Mm -hmm. You've worked as a CEO somewhere, as a minister, or a PS, or as a governor, or wherever it is, where you have responsibility to take care of public funds. And during your tenure, money was lost mm -hmm. or money was stolen. I will not be convinced that if the Auditor General and the Controller on Budget or any other office that is independent has indicted you, mm -hmm. has raised an alarm on your integrity, on your capacity to lend or manage public affairs, mm -hmm. that now... You, you are, are given the same person who is given you another, the savior, the same, yeah, uh, the another office but, but, that will be now letting yeah, this country. Yeah, but let me tell you something. And, you, and no this, responses this is, from yeah, there. Yeah. This, 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 is, this will be discrimination. You cannot say only those appointed, even those elected, those in political position must take, take responsibility. It must be a measure for all. Not for only for those actually, because again, it will mean even tomorrow when I am appointed, I'll have to go get elected so that now I don't get prosecuted. Let us now deal with everyone, those elected and even those appointed.